Get set. These five veteran families are using their heads in a very foul way. The champion chicken who breaking of eggs. Don't build a beaker. Will improve their place in the pecking order with $25 as well as control in round one. On the show that's always setting a good egg sample. Sure, sure. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go away. You've got $25. Uh, we'll be back with uh, some show here now, I think. <laughs> it's family double dare. And now, here's the host of family double dare, Mark Summer. folks i must show you this welcome it's family double dare now we just did a toss-up now chris come over here a second this man over here now you're a large human being right sir yes sir okay we we've been doing this physical challenge several shows all right we can't do it anymore let me explain why we can't do it anymore he was so so crazy doing this there's a hole he broke a hole i don't know if you can see this right into this well well now you can see it we'll never do this thing again anymore will we take it off stage we'll see you a little later uh, hi folks it's uh... a <laughs> We, we didn't need that anymore. We have lots of ideas. Say hello to the team to my left. They are called the Gak Whackers. They're dressed in red. Hello, Gak Whackers. Oh. What a silly show today. We, uh, we ought to meet these people and uh, find out what their real names are. Say hello to Ida. Then we have Vanessa, Richard Jr., and Richard. And uh, we, we have a, uh, a bird story here. Who's got the bird story for me? I do. Go ahead, Ida. Uh, we were driving along Armenia Avenue, which is a two-lane highway. And we saw this bird lying in the highway, mm -hmm. and we stopped and picked it up, and it turned out to be an orange-winged Amazon, except it was wild. It ended up on my arm, and I was screaming all the way home to open the window and let it out, but Richard wouldn't, and we finally got it into the garage. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> so are those uh, endangered at all, or not? They're just, no. Uh, they're, they're out there in the wild quite a bit. Well, over here, I have another bird story. Let's hear that one. Say hello to a team dressed in blue. They are the Slime Busters. Hello, Slime Busters. <laughs> Say hello to the man who broke our first toss-up. His name is Judd. We have Carrie. We have Mike. And we have Kathy. Now tell me your bird story. Two families with two bird stories today. Yeah, we had a friend that gave us a baby bird that was falling off a tree. It turned out to be a pigeon. Uh -huh. So we raised it, and as we put it out in the front yard trying to teach it to be on its own, it decided it wanted to be more like a dog, and it comes to the door letting, waiting to come in. Really? So if you open the door, he'll walk like right yeah. in the house? Walks right in the house. Loves the air conditioning. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Does he like have a cigar and say, where's the paper or something like that? Or the, oh my gosh, $25, I'll do it again for you. Where's the paper? Ha, ha, ha. Okay, anyway, $25 over there for the slime busters. Let's, do we have to do the rules? We've done this show over 500 times. Do we still have to tell them the rules? Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. If you don't know the answer, think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you would either have to take that or take the physical question or the physical challenge. I can't, that's why we're still doing the rules. I don't remember them. <laughs> okay, no money yet for the Gackwhackers. We have $25 over here. What TV cartoon character often says, don't have a cow, man? Bring up to 50 or you could dare them. Bart Simpson. Yes, it is Bart Simpson. That $25 over there to the uh, Slime Busters. The, uh, either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. I just, I just remembered. Uh, Glasgow is the largest city in what country? Would bring it to 75, or you could dare them. Scotland. Yes, it is Scotland. Thank you so much. Scotland. Oh, oh my, oh, my. <laughs> You have no idea how happy you've just made me by answering that question. Once again, Maureen uh, and I had a little gentleman's agreement, and, and I, I got that one right, too. Um, who is the author of Leaves of Grass? Bring up to $100, or you could dare them. Dare. Oh, dare. Worth $50. You need this. Get on the board. Who's the author of Leaves of Grass? Double dare. Now worth $100. You could take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It was Walt Whitman, and we have a physical challenge for two people right over here. Any two people, join me. Excuse me one second. Maureen, could you come here a second? This is Maureen. Maureen's our associate producer. And uh, Maureen, uh, I'd just like you to say hello to these nice folks over here. Uh, and, and could you tell this young lady the capital, the largest city, uh, Glasgow, is the capital of what? Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> no, no, what it's really... He told me. Yeah, Scotland, right? Scotland. So you remember that now? I remember. Thank you so much. That's Maureen, our associate producer. Very nice. You folks, join me over here, would you please? We, we have a... Uh, we have a physical challenge over here involving two people. And uh, yes, young lady, if you go over there, and sir, you join me over here. This one is called log rolling. And when I say go, you must get up here and go across on this log. Now, my advice is to stay on by holding on to this over here. Now, I'm not going to necessarily demonstrate it. Should I? Should I give it a shot? 
All the way across. Oh my gosh, now I won't drop it. Whoa. Oh, I did it! I can't believe it! Folks, folks, nobody is more shocked than I am, let me tell you. Uh, now, you must do that. Now, if you fall off in the middle of all this whole uh, situation, you must get right back up, go over there, and start again. You can't pick it up from the halfway point. You get across, you tag your mom, mom, you do the same thing, and then you go over there and Robin show them what they have to ring. They have to ring that bell over there. So, 30 seconds to go over there, tag your mom, get across. We've seen it done before. Can we see it get done right now? Let's find out. On your mark, get set, go! Come on, you can do it. I demonstrated how well I did. Oh, oh yeah, you held on. You can do it. Get over there. can do it. You can do it. Oh, come on, Bob. You can pull it off. We're down to nine seconds. And maybe if she holds on to it before. No, they didn't do it. But give this lady a round of applause. That's a difficult one. We're going to come over here. Come on, folks. Join me over here. Put $100 up there on the red team. And you folks now have $100. That's a very, very difficult physical challenge. Notice the word physical. That does happen here. And uh, I showed you I could do it. Uh, not everybody can, though. $100 now for the Gak Whackers. They are in control of this $25 question. Monotremes are the lowest order of mammals. They're different from most mammals because why? A, they have pouches. Or B, they lay eggs. Or C, they actually find Polly Shore funny. <laughs> Worth $25, or you could dare them. Yeah. They, lay, they lay eggs. They, they lay eggs is right at $25. Nicely done. I have a $50 lead now. They lay eggs. And we know that C was actually a, a joke answer because nobody actually finds Polly Shore funny, do they? Okay. We, uh, we have a $25 question. What Massachusetts city opened the first subway system in the United States? Bring it to $150, or you could dare them. Boston? Yeah, that is Boston. You've doubled the score of the uh, Slime Busters. Slime Busters started off with lots of money. They lost control. The red team hasn't given it up. Who created the character of Sherlock Holmes? Could add 25 to your score. There. Now it's worth 50. Who created the character of Sherlock Holmes? I have a feeling that Kathy may know this, the way she bolted over there. Double dare. Oh, now worth 100. You could take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, and we have a $100 physical challenge for two of you. Help me out. Oh, hi there. I like the way you just kind of bolted down over there. Now, both of you ladies seem like you're in great shape physically. You, you, you obviously, you know, exercise, right? Look at this. Oh, let me see that again. Do you work out? Uh, look at that. That's good. I have just the perfect <laughs> job for you. You go over there and see Robin. Go ahead right over there. And Mom, you stay with me because we're going to bring out our juicer. And our juicer goes right over And I need you to go right underneath here and have a seat and face the audience over there. And here's what you're going to do. Are you good at basketball? No. Well, well maybe we'll you'll try. be... We'll try. It's not too difficult. You're really close. And what you do is you toss these up there. These are supposed to be fruit. Okay, we have oranges and we have apples, bananas. You know what these are? Uh, grapes. Well, oh, that could Giant be grapes. grapes. Giant grapes. That's right. These are grapes with thyroid problems right over there. And we have, we have uh, oranges over here. And the quicker you get those in there, the quicker that the juice will come out. Now, you can use two hands. If you can shoot them like this, that's up to you. You can do that. But what it must... Can we turn on a juicer to see what it sounds like? Oh, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Okay, you can turn that off. Now, Mom, here's your job. You keep your head level down like that, okay? Because you want to make sure that that juice gets in that container. If at the end of 30 seconds it's past the line, you get $100, otherwise it goes to the other team. Now, if you tilt your head too far back or too far forward, it will come out. It's up to you to uh, tilt your head out the way you want. Yeah, if you want to straighten it out a little bit, do whatever you want. Down like that. Is that how you want it? Okay, after, after this, it's up to her. 30 seconds on the clock. On your mark. Get set. Go! Turn it on! Now, the more you get in there, the better shot you have of filling that cup past the line. Come on, keep on doing it. I go for the thicker ones. Keep on sending them up there with 20 seconds remaining. Keep on going. This is called family double there. It's the Tournament of Champions. We're going for $100. Keep on doing it. Don't give up. Don't stop. Come on. I know you can pull this off a little bit higher and you will do it. You may want to go for the plums neck. They seem to have a lot of juice. Stop right there. Stop right there. Whoa, I just got clobbered. Did we make it past the line today? No, we're just under. Add $100 over there to the blue team. We tried.
Once again, that's one that works with speed. The more that you get in there, the better chance you have at half. That's great. That's a nice move. Can you do that for me right over there? Just... Okay. <laughs> I'm in a silly mood. We have uh, 150 over here for the gag whackers. We have 175 for the slime busters. And we have this $25 question. The Champs-Élysées is a famous boulevard in what city? Could take you to $200. Or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now it's worth 50. The Champs-Élysées is a famous boulevard in what city? Or you could double dare them back. Paris. Paris is right. You have $200. <laughs> they gave up control. They got back. And that sound means it's the end of round one. And look, $200 over here for the gas whackers. We have 175 for the slime busters. It's another close game here on Family Double Dare. Looking for the fastest and the smartest families to compete head-to-head -head soon on the Tournament of Champions. Here we are. We'll be back with more after this. Family Double Dare, uh, this is round two. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound right here, that means the game is over. Going for $50 control of round two. Sir, can I hear you make a noise like a chicken? Cork, cork. <laughs> Let me hear you make a noise like a chicken. <laughs> this is our chicken, ladies and gentlemen. You want to see our chicken? This is our chicken. Here's what you got to do. You've got your little bee cats on. You get down and you're uh, poking these little eggs and you have to fill this container past the line. You'll do the same thing. Sir, this time try not to break the props, okay? Help us out. First team to fill it past the line gets $50 control of round two. I'm having a great time. On your mark. Get set. Go! Break those, uh, break those things. I'm going to look over here. Your hat fell off. You got to hold on to it. Come on, just hold on to it, sir, and keep pecking over there. Keep on pecking. That's the way to do it. Who's going to get past the line? The blue team did it again. I can't believe it. The blue team did it. And $50, $50 over here, and let's play some more Family Double there. We are uh, putting that $50 on Blue Team. $225, now that time, Judd was, was pecking away, and his hat came apart. It just blew off there. What happened there, sir? That one blew off. Look, what is that called, Rob? What are we... It's the beak, and the mother did it this time. And the mother, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. And, and what do we call this? Where is a... Uh, What's this called again? A waddle. This is called a waddle, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, we, uh, <laughs> we uh, are playing family double there. We have $225 to the slime busters, $200 over here to the gack whackers, $5,100, $200 on the double dare if you remember those rules. Good luck. The America's Cup is a race involving what mode of transportation? Sailboats. Yes, right, sailboats. At $50, you have $275. We would accept his yacht, catamaran, that kind of thing. What rap star had a featured role in Boys in the Hood? Great movie. Love that movie. Vanilla Ice. Is incorrect. It was Ice Cube. You had the ice part right. Unfortunately, not the other part. No dare at stake. No money changing place. Control over here to the Gack Whackers. In American dry measurements, one peck is equal to how many quarts? Would bring up to 250, or you could dare them. There. Now worth 100. In American dry measurements, one peck is equal to how many quarts? Double dare. Now worth 200. You've got to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. The answer is eight. One peck uh, equal to how many quarts? The answer is eight. We have a physical challenge over here. All four of you, join me down here. We could have a lead change right over here. Now, do we have anybody here who is inter interested in pastry? Looking for somebody who likes... Do you like pastry? Uh-huh. No, he does. He, oh, you like pastry? You lo oh, sir, then you go over there and see Chris. And, in fact, you join him. And if I could have uh, you and your brother just go over there and see Robin. Join me right over here, sir, because we love pastry so much. Let me show you the pastry we have. We have pies, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these beautiful pies. And here's what you're going to do, sir. Ma'am, your job is to put the pies where? Well, in our pie launcher. Let me show you how this works. You pull this down like this. And that's your job, sir. And, ma'am, your job is to take one of these pies and put it over here. Now, watch out, kids, because I'm going to launch this pie just like this. Watch this, folks. Yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. Almost got her. And your job is to catch those pies in your pants. Now, you have to catch two pies in your pants, and you have to catch two pies in your pants. Now, when we say go, you must start off behind this line, and you can move up as far as this, but you can never touch the circle, okay? You cannot go up to this distance. You can go up to here for you, sir, and ma'am, up to here, but you cannot be touching this line. At the end of 30 seconds, if you have two of those pans, and those pans must have landed inside your pants, and you have two of those pans in your pants, you will become $200 richer. You'll take the lead. Otherwise, it's going over there to the blue team. 
We all set over here. We know we uh, know what we have to do. The mom's going to launch. The dad's going to uh, set it off over here. And uh, I think we're ready to do this for $200. On your mark, get set, go! Here goes the first prize. Put it on there and launch it. Oh, uh, yeah, no, yeah. Do they catch that? Do they catch that? I can't tell the judges. Yes, we have one. And, oh, no. Fell down there. We've got one over here. And, oh, right in the face. I can't believe it. Can we get the next fly up there? Pull it back. And you're launching like crazy. You guys may want to step back. You may want to step back. And, whoa, sitting that helmet. We're down to about five seconds. He's got two over there. They have to get one more. No, it didn't happen. You got one. You got two. $200 goes over there to that side of the board. Nice try. Let's go over here and play some more. Family double there. Got everybody all right? It is now 200 to the Gak Watchers, but we have 475 for these Slime Busters. I have some whipped cream on my finger in this $50 question. What is the ninth sign of the Zodiac? But bring over the $500 mark or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $100. What's the ninth sign of the Zodiac or the Zodiac? <laughs> or you could double dare them back. There comes our other member. Double dare. Double there. Now we're at 200. Are you going to take another physical challenge? Physical challenge. Ninth sign of the Zodiac, Sagittarius, a $200 physical challenge. Lots of challenges. All four of you join me right over here. Hi, Dad. Well, 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 well. Uh, you know what? Mom and Dad, you go over there and see Chris. And I need the kids over here because we have some seats and we have some spitballs. And young lady, if you could sit right over here. And sir, if you could just sit right over here, I would appreciate it. Now, normally, if you're in school and you throw spitwads, spitballs, you get into lots of trouble. You get into major trouble. But today, we will reward you by taking one of these and heaving it over here in this direction. And what you want to do is get a direct hit right over here on to the target. Let me show you what it's going to look like. What, this is a direct hit, folks. That's a direct hit, all right? Now, you need to do that five times. You need to get five direct hits right up over there. If you do that in 30 seconds, you will get $200. Otherwise, it's going over there to that side. Now, folks, you must stay behind this line. You can move to and fro, left and right, but you are not allowed to move in front of this line. Five direct hits, and uh, our judges will be out there judging. Can they do it? 30 seconds, $200 at stake. On your mark. Get set. Go! Toss them over there. Ah, uh, does that count as one? We've got one now, they say. We need to get... There's two. They need to stay on just for a few seconds. We've got two. We need to get three more. We've got two. Looking for five. And there's three. We need two more. Two more is what we need. We need two more. Can we get them? There's four. One more would do it. One more would do it. And... Yes, they got it. Our judges say yes. Put $200 on this side of the board. They have $675. And here's what we're going to do, folks. We're going to add that money over there, and uh, the slime, uh, slime busters have control of this next question. How many years did Rip... Oh, well, we don't know how many years Rip Van Winkle slept. He slept 20 in reality, but that sound means it's the end of the game with $625. The winners are the blue team, the slime busters. Congratulations. You'll take that money to the uh, family Double Dare obstacle course, and we have the Gak Whackers who were magnificent contestants. They have $200. Thanks for being here. And, Doc, give them some wonderful prizes, would you please? Skechers are fun shoes. Sneakers, boots, sandals, and shoes with lights in them called S-Lice. Skechers and Kids Foot Locker, a winning combination. Skechers, it's the S. America Online. With the Kids Only Channel and Nickelodeon, it's the most popular place online for kids. AOL. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Hi there, nice to see you. We have Carrie here. She has a, actually, there's a change in your score. It's 675. That's what it should be. And you get all that money. You get to share it with your family. And you get the first obstacle. You'll get down on your knees and crawl across this bridge. Once you get to the other side, you grab that flag. And uh, Doc, what's the first prize today? Mach 10 in line skates by CCM with an anatomical polyurethane boot for improved fit and a soft padded lining for improved comfort. CCM in line skates from Masca U.S. Incorporated. You said you like this one. What do you like about it? I like the gook. You like the... Well, let me show you. This is so clean. You'll put your hands out, but here is all the stuff you're looking for. It will be on your shirt. On the way down, if you can grab that flag, you'll pick up time and you'll pick this up. Lone Star House of Phones featuring Uno, Retro, Large Button Neon, and Seeker Phones. Lone Star Quality Phones. At home, in any home, and in your home.
And in our studio, we have in one ear and out the other. Now, if you lose time over here, you can always pick time up over here. You go in very quickly. You come out on the other side. It's not as easy as it looks, but there is a flag. And if you grab it, you'll win this. The BCA Glacier Mountain Bike is tons of off-road fun with 12 speeds and big, fat tires. The BCA Glacier is one mean mountain bike. It's the BCA Glacier. Now, let's see. You broke the first toss-up. Then you broke the other one. Now, try and stay... Uh, you know, calm, don't get too destructive here. Let me show you where the flag is. So run this way. Try not to get too wet. The flag's up there. You jump to the pole. You slide on down. And, uh, Doc, what's the prize? Mark, it's Gibson's Telephone S310 electric guitar. It's made for musicians who demand quality in every single little detail. Designed by and from Gibson USA. Are you a good swimmer? Yes, yeah, a little bit, huh? Well, here's what you have to do. You don't really have to swim. You have to climb up the diving board, and you have to get inside the Jaws mouth over there. Now, he's had some interesting things for lunch. He's had a life preserver. He's had a rubber glove, and he also has had a flag. You find it. You pull it out, and Doc, tell him what the win here. The Discovery 3000 Zoom Camera from Fuji, featuring Fuji's drop and loading system, red eye reduction capability, and a 38 to 115 millimeter zoom lens. Fuji is a new way of saying things. The symbol of Nick Studios, the Nickelodeon blimp. Now, you must really love getting messy, huh? I like gunk. You <laughs> must, because here you, here you just pull this down. You just stand on it. If you pull on it as hard as you can, a flag will drop down. You will be instantly transformed from blue to green, and you will also win this prize. Enjoy the outdoors in Coleman's 11 by 10 classic tent. Light the night and cook with the dual fuel powerhouse lanterning stove. Keep food fresh in Coleman's 54-quart Holly Light cooler. And remember, it's only from Coleman's. Your last obstacle was easy in one ear, but this is one of the more difficult ones. You get over there on, well, if you can, the third rung. The second one is fine. You come all the way across. If you happen to fall off, grab the one you fell off on, come over here, do this, and win this. The Apple Macintosh Classic is easy to set up and use, and it runs thousands and thousands of applications from word processing to desktop publishing programs. And the best thing is, well, it's from Apple. This looks like the size of pizza that you could probably consume yourself, sir, huh? Do you like pizza? Love it. Well, don't eat this. We want you to find a flag. Now, we have some sticky cheese, we have some pepperonis, and we also have a flag. If you have that flag in your hand in 60 seconds or less, tell them the grand prize, Doc. Enjoy an expanded edition of the Aquarium Splash Weekend at the fabulous Fairmont Hotel in New Orleans. Complete with passes to the aquarium and to the zoo. You could be going to New Orleans, Louisiana, and staying at the Fairmont Hotel. There's the pretty shot, and we're over here next to Lake Double Dare. The Fairmont Hotel is beautiful. I've been there. I hope you win this trip and uh, start things off with a bang. 60 seconds on the clock. Audience, cheer them on. On your mark. Get set. Go! All the way across. Come on, let's move fast. She's got the right idea. We are uh, watching that clock tick by. And if they do this in just about another two seconds, they'll be right on time. Grab that flag. And now they're going to have to definitely pick up time because she's taking too long to make this exchange. 44 seconds. Perhaps on in one ear and out the other. They can now uh, pick up that time they need. The oh, wrong flag. you got to grab that flag. Having some exchange problems today, and sometimes that can uh, really disturb you as you get towards the end of this course. Now we're at obstacle number four with how much time left? Well, we have about 29 seconds, so he's going to have to move really quick. The mouth of Jaws is coming up, and that's obstacle number five. We are at the halfway point right now with 21 seconds down to 20. Come on, get inside there, and then we're going over to Dot Blimp, which is number six. Where is that flag? She's tossing stuff everywhere. She's hitting our poor cameraman, Jimmy Skirty. And I don't see it. We're down to nine seconds. I want to find that flag. Please find that flag. Where is it? It's not in the booth. We're down to four seconds. There it is. Come over here and let's listen to find out exactly what you won. They didn't do so bad. They got a prize bag is worth $2,725. You really wanted to do this on the count of three. Come on, stand over here. One, two, three, do it. Yeah, wow, look at that, folks. There is the flag, and uh, we hope you had a good time. Thanks for watching us on Family Double Dare. Bye-bye. And this is your announcer, Doc Holliday. See you next time on Family Double Dare.